November 4, 2022, marks the 100th anniversary of the discovery of Tutankhamun's tomb in the Egyptian Valley of the Kings, a watershed moment for the world of archaeology. The spectacular nature of the tomb and its treasures provided an unprecedented insight into what a new kingdom royal burial was like and made Tutankhamun one of the most famous pharaohs in history. Harry Burton, 1879-1940, was the official photographer for the opening of Tutankhamun's tomb by Howard Carter and Lord Carnarvon in 1922. Burton was regarded as the most outstanding archaeological photographer of his era, and here we share some of his original photographs of the momentous occasion when King Tut's tomb was opened and explored for the very first time. The Valley of the Kings where Tutankhamun's tomb was uncovered. Several tombs in the Valley of the Kings lay open continuously from ancient times onward, but the entrances to many others had remained hidden until the 19th century. The entrance to Tutankhamun's tomb found beneath piles of debris. Harry Burton's photograph records the intact necropolis seal and cord fastening on the third of four great gilded shrines surrounding Tutankhamun's sarcophagus in the burial chamber. The unbroken seal confirmed that the king's body remained undisturbed, despite the tomb having been broken into and robbed several times in antiquity. The descending corridor leading to the antechamber of Tutankhamun's tomb this photograph was taken on the spot where the sealed entrance doorway was uncovered on 5th November 1922. Harry Burton's camera lens looks up the 16-step staircase towards the top step found on 4th November. A section from the blocking ceiling the tomb's outer doorway, its mud-plastered surface bears stamped impressions of the official necropolis seals and Tutankhamun's car touch. One of only two images showing Howard Carter on the left and Lord Carnarvon together in the tomb. They are beginning the process of dismantling the wall between the antechamber and the burial chamber. Howard Carter and Lord Carnarvon stand in the partially dismantled doorway between the antechamber and the burial chamber. Lord Carnarvon died less than two months after this photograph was taken. The Anubis Shrine on the threshold of the treasury viewed from the burial chamber. The figure of Anubis was covered with a linen shirt inscribed with the cartouch of Akhenaten. Howard Carter, kneeling, Arthur Callender and an Egyptian workman in the burial chamber, looking through the open doors of the four gilded shrines towards the quartzite sarcophagus of Tutankhamun. Howard Carter working on the lid of the second, middle coffin, still nestled within the case of the first, outermost coffin in the burial chamber of Tutankhamun. Howard Carter and an Egyptian workman examined the third innermost coffin of Tutankhamun made of solid gold inside the case of the second coffin. The gold mask of Tutankhamun in situ on the mummy of the king still inside the third innermost solid gold coffin. Tutankhamun's tomb View of the northern wall of the antechamber showing the sentinel statues guarding the sealed doorway leading to the king's burial chamber. The sentinel statues guarding the doorway leading to the king's burial chamber, which has now been opened. Tutankhamun's tomb. 
disassembled chariots and cow-headed couches at the southern end of the antechamber. Cow-headed couch in the antechamber of Tutankhamun's tomb, with many objects stacked on top. The packages underneath contained joints of meat. White box in front of the lion couch in the antechamber contained, amongst other items, linen garments, shirts, shawls, and loincloths, 18 sticks, 69 arrows, and a trumpet. The contents of one of the storage trunks in Tutankhamun's tombs, containing linen garments and loincloths. An ornate trunk and other objects found in Tutankhamun's tomb. The items were numbered as part of the cataloging process. It took 10 years to complete the cataloging of the more than 5,000 artifacts found in the tomb. Lion Couch in the Antechamber of Tutankhamun's Tomb Tomb treasures including a number of Egyptian Ankh statues. Sealed alabaster unguent vases between the cow-headed and lion couches against the west wall of the antechamber. An ornately decorated chair Throne photographed by Burton in Tutankhamun's tomb. One of Tutankhamun's sandals photographed within the tomb. Arthur Mace and Alfred Lucas conserve a chariot from Tutankhamun's tomb outside the laboratory in the neighboring tomb of Seti II, December 1923 published in 1928 as part of Mesa's obituary. Tomb treasures were packed in wooden crates and transported from the tomb to the banks of the Nile for transportation to Cairo by boat. The transportation of tomb treasures by Egyptian workmen